our headset is broken, so you might hear some background noise. But this is more of a question for the well-traveled Serpent ZA. Uh, again, this is actually practical nuts and bolts rather than a political propaganda lecture about national glory. But basically, to these expats, well, the difference is what I'm going to be doing is repatriating permanently. I'm going to be leaving a foreign country for a native country. But so the nuts and bolts basically where you have this issue where uh, if, if you currently have like a U.S. plan, I'm talking about a mobile carrier plan where basically after a certain duration of roaming, uh, your services could be cut off and Based on what I found, you can't keep, for example, I'm just making it up, you know, dropping, you know, $50 every month to renew a 30-day whatever international, you know, package. Uh, basically, so what I'll probably do, if if there's any, uh, if there's any relatives in the U.S., I'll, I'll have them maybe take over some business and then, uh, what I'm going to do is basically, uh, you know, I'm, I'm uh, in terms of repatriation, uh, getting that national, uh, getting the residency, the, and also getting uh, getting a national uh, citizen ID card, uh, basically. But basically, the um, the first difficulty, the first the first uh, issue. It's actually not a difficulty issue, but basically, you know, you have you have the grand plan of national repatriation, but the, then you realize the uh, well, you, you need you need the uh, you you need to transfer. Uh, basically, if you're repatriating yourself permanently, well, your your phone has to repatriate and localize. So basically, uh, you're leaving one life behind for another. So uh, if Serpent ZA has any advice, that would just be great.